In this video, we will look at how we can take an equation and put it in intercept form so we can identify the slope and y-intercept. If the equation is not in intercept form, we cannot identify these key points of information. We may have to put the, inter the equation in intercept form first. To do this, we solve the equation for y. So for example, if we were to have a problem like 5x plus 8y, we would work to get the y alone by first eliminating the term without y. Subtracting 5x from both sides would get the 8y alone on the left. On the right, it's important to note that these are not like terms and cannot be combined. We will put the term with x first to match the slope-intercept equation, negative 5x plus 17. To get the y alone, we will divide both sides by 8. As we do, we will remember that it is important to divide each and every term by the 8. We now have y is equal to negative 5 eighths x plus 17 eighths. Remembering the slope-intercept equation is y equals mx plus b, it is now very easy to obtain the slope and y-intercept from the equation we have. We see m, the slope, is negative 5 eighths. We also see b, the y-intercept, is 17 eighths. We now have our key information about our line. Let's try another example and see if we can find the slope and y-intercept on it. In this problem, we see that there is a fraction in front of the parentheses. To solve, we must distribute the fraction first before we can do anything else. y plus 4 equals 2 thirds x minus, remember as we multiply 2 thirds times 4, we put the 4 over 1 and multiply straight across. This gives us 8 thirds. Next, to get the y alone, we subtract 4 from both sides. On the left, we have y. On the right, we begin with 2 thirds x, but we remember that in order to combine the negative 4 and negative 8 thirds, negative 8 thirds minus 4, we need to subtract the fractions by finding a common denominator. Putting the 4 over 1, we see the common denominator is 3. So we will multiply by 3 over 3, giving negative 8 thirds minus 12 thirds, which is negative 20 thirds. The slope-intercept equation, y equals mx plus b, now makes it easy to identify these key pieces of information m, the slope, is the 2 thirds multiplied by the x. b, the y-intercept, is found added or subtracted from the end. The y-intercept here is negative 20 over 3. We now have the key pieces of information, slope and y-intercept, of the original graph y plus 4 equals 2 thirds times x minus 4. By solving the equation and getting the x alone, I'm sorry, the y alone, we can easily identify the slope or y-intercept.